it's a great day, and, and, it's, and you know it's exciting. Uh, it's been a year's worth of work, and you know I think our staff did a great job in going out and identifying the kids that we needed. More importantly, the kids that fit. Um, we're excited about the two different levels in the class, and what I mean by that is you know the size and the strength of the offensive and defensive lines. We got some big kids that are going to fill the needs that we have in losing four senior offensive linemen. Um, I'm excited about um, uh, Cam Rush. I'm excited about Curtis Linton, two big guys that are that are offensive tackles for us. I'm excited with Patrick Flynn, the the, the athleticism that he has, can play a number of positions. And I really like Riley Burns, Sean Burns' brother, big, physical, 300-pound kid who's you know a, a a force that's going to help in the interior positions. In the secondary part of it, and, 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 and the skill part of it, I think we identified some kids in the wide receiver position that are very, very multiple in what they can do. You know, Espinette and Turner were two kids that have been up here in the summer. Espinette is a long athletic receiver and go up and get the ball. He can catch the ball in tight quarters. He's got a large, large frame that we can make bigger. He's a three-sport athlete. You know, Turner's an explosive, dynamic little receiver, uh, slot receiver, return guy. He may even play running back for us. You know, he's got a knack for the end zone. And the last kid, B.J. Hill, had a terrific senior season, a kid that was off our radar, and then we found him in the middle of the recruiting process, got on him. You know, he went to our JMU playoff game and saw us down here and still stuck with us after that game. So it was a hell of a... Hell of a class that way in there, you know. I look on the defensive side of the ball, and we start from the bottom to the top with Gunnar Gibson, the kid from Idaho who's, you know, a versatile kid. I don't know if he's going to end up at tight end, linebacker, defensive end. Here's a kid, you know, um, who had a, a 25-yard average in, in, in high school catching a football in Idaho. Came to the Salisbury School, played linebacker, played some outside linebacker, did some nice jobs. I think his hand go on the ground on the defense as well. So there's a very versatile kid. I'm really excited about the skill set. In the, in the back half of the defensive part, start with Kyle Hamper, the, the, the fullback linebacker, running back linebacker from Portland, Oregon, you know, who went to the Hotchkiss School. This is a kid that is very athletic, will be able to play the buck linebacker position. You know, right, reminds me a lot of Ryan Farrell in a lot of ways. It's going to be an athletic guy that can cover and run. Um, I, I, I like the Harris kid. Uh, Sharon's a, is, is a very good cover guy. He's long athletic. He's going to grow in his frame. And then Pop Bush and Whitaker are two really good football safeties that could possibly play corner for us, so we got flexibility back there. Pop is an explosive tackler. You watch his tape, you see his highlight. He, he, he is making plays and knocking people back with his great pad level. So as you look at that defensive class, you know, we have one possible kid that can play up front in, in Gibson. You got a linebacker in Hamper, and you got three guys in the secondary that I'm pretty pleased with. The last kid that's that's pretty exciting about is Shawnee Coyne. And, and here's a kid from Portsmouth, Rhode Island, an offensive player of the year in the state of Rhode Island. He can play receiver, he can play recorder back. He is also an outstanding kicker who has extremely, extremely strong legs. So as you look at, at that at the kids that we have signed, they filled positions that we're gonna need filling in and more importantly gonna add great depth to everything. These are kids that know about New Hampshire, has them nationally recognized for what we're doing on and off the football field. First thing they know is that we're a great academic institution, want to go to school here. Second thing is that we're playing football on a national scene. Uh, both Hamper, both Gibson, you know, were coached by guys that uh, were involved with the UNH football program, and Danny Smith at Hotchkiss and uh, Chris Phelps and Brent Barbado at the Salisbury School. So that helps us along the way in the recruiting process. We got another kid from Florida and Pop Bush. You know, people see that that we're playing good football here when they come on campus and meet our people, whether it's you know uh, our professors, our academic support people, and our players, they know what a great place this is so they feel right at home. So it's a great mix for UNH football.